Couldn't hurt at all You always take the sweetest rose And crush it Password to enter. Agnes Day. Access granted. Welcome, Gil Alexander. I heard that. My likeness is company property, Delta, just like you are. Don't make me strip you for parts, Milado. Password to enter. I warned you. <clears throat> when you're down and out and life's a pain, where the man says happy rain, but it's good. all you need. Have a bridge show to Hercules. Thunder on that sharp old brain, that's why the future is haunted. <laughs> Access to DDP Automatic deactivation for 60 seconds. Oh, he's jamming the voice print lock with that awful crooning. See if you can find some way to sabotage his control of building security. Delta, you're dawdling. The security office is well above your pay grade. If you're so keen to help, the restrooms need a good scrap. Here's a clerk or two to help you along. You've won a battle of wits with a home appliance! We shan't save the likes of you!
Gee, thanks, Doc. I feel amazing. Never felt better. Wow. The results are clear. Invest today in plasmid technology. Dismissal. Shall I simplify that for you? Fired! 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 jab in the arm and even a hopeless underperformer can be employee of the month. Or oh, you should know. Look around. Is any of this familiar? The Rapture consumer is indebted to you, my boy. We ironed kink after kink out of our domestic plasmid line on you right here. Well, let's see if you're staying competitive. Step on up and take the spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, Fontaine Futuristics invites 
invites you to shed your skepticism, evolve your expectations, and dissolve your doubt as we unveil the revolutionary power of our home defense plasmid series. May I have a volunteer from the audience? How about you, sir? No, he's positively rigid. You, Mark, at the back. Oh, come on down. Let's give it a hand, folks. Volunteer? Oh, come now, gentlemen. She'll be awfully nervous up here all alone. Come on down, all of you! Stage a fellow demonstrator, and he's here to steal the show. What will Delta do now, folks? Delta. The tour was never the same without you. And to think you were so spliced you couldn't stand when we stuffed you into that getup. The Fontaine family retirement plan suits you to a team, my boy.
speaking. It's been many years since my last diary. Mother found a way to rehabilitate me psychologically, but she can't remove this... this thing inside my body. I look in the mirror, and I see a freak. I remember very little. Just an artificial sense of peace and a compulsive hunger for Adam. Dr. Alexander is trying to help me adjust. He's responsible for part of my condition, but he wants to make amends. Anyone in the plasmid business ultimately requires the use of human test subjects. It's our dirty little secret. And to be frank, Rapture doesn't really want to know, provided the end product is sound. The volunteers were scarce, even as the economy buckled. A man named Sinclair approached us with a seemingly limitless supply. He rented a business, bound and sedated. No questions asked. search of conquest, Delta. Fontaine, Ryan, and now you. But every aspiring Caesar must learn to fear the knives of his fellows. Ask yourself, what does Sinclair stand to gain in guiding you here? <laughs>
prison, it seems. Hello again. I must assume by now that you're willing to help end my life. In exchange, I have prepared a friendly security escort for you. Ah, uh, now. Uh, there's a switch in here which will allow you access to the real laboratories where... where what's left of me awaits you. Please, use it. I was to be Sophia Lamb's greatest achievement, a living composite of all Rapture's genius in the body of a single man, unfettered by self-interest. Now, I am nothing more to her than a failed experiment. My scores on tests of intelligence and moral reasoning are still noteworthy, but declining sharply. She has abandoned me, and I do not have long before psychosis takes me.
As I recall from my time doing business with the owners, that Oxyfill station out there is just a front for a kind of hidden passage leading down below. If Lamb's hiding Eleanor from you, that's where she'll be. I'm afraid the lights in here sting my eyes terribly now. Until you arrive to deal with me, they will remain off. Please, locate the breakers and flip them, and then return here to restore power. Sophia believes the perfect human altruist is just a formula waiting on us to solve for X. Intelligence and consciousness are not the same, she argued. Awareness of self naturally becomes obsession with it. So, if we could suppress my sense of self, but imbue me with the cognitive capacity to serve the common welfare, we could thereby generate the first utopian. And then, Sophia said, at long last, utopia would follow. Sophia and I knew that to create the first true utopian would come at a high cost, my friend. We needed someone to be host to all that Adam, Rapture's finest minds. A willing subject, that is to say, myself. Whatever you may have seen inside the tank, that was indeed me. I fear the fate of Eleanor Lamb will be less physical, but no less grotesque. This tank for deep sea life is the ideal way to dispose of me. But first, you must retrieve enough adam-infused plant life to lure me out. The slugs feed on the stuff, and it's all I seem to want now. I have left a sample here, so you know what to look for. See you out there, Delta. You want to be top man? You want to sit in the big chair? Well, come and take it.
Listen, son, those override keys you've been hunting are genetically encoded. And to get to Eleanor, you're gonna need one from Alex the Great in there. First things first, we gotta pin him down. Find those plants he mentioned and lure him back out. Have you running around the laboratory? Is in your oh, condition? around playing daddy until some splicer manages to kill off their sister and then if the coma doesn't take them they turn maniac nothing left to do but scream uh, no offense intended son we better get you to Eleanor on the double your body begins to tear itself apart the compulsion to find Eleanor will drive you to madness or coma you have no claim on her. Your design was among Rapture's greatest sins. And yet, you persist. Why? Uh, 
mother has destroyed Dr. Alexander. She tried to splice him into some kind of living saint, who would calculate the common good and adhere to it tirelessly. But now he's become... something unspeakable. Mother's philosophy is just as corrupt... This is where they bound us together, Father. Plain God, you were the only good thing that Rapture ever gave me. She was not meant to have a father, Delta. She was to be an heir to my life's work. And this is where they changed her, bonding her to you. The child she was died in this room. to feed the fish. Head on back to Alexander's tank and put those plants in. Poor Gilbert. It was his will to die, Delta. To serve the majority by protecting them from his lunacy. Your entire journey here is based on your refusal to do the same. Will you grant his request, knowing that he served the family? Rebirth, huh? Sure, you live forever, but minus your body. I like my body, kid. I don't feature the idea of my memories and personality being stored in the head of some saintly child, like just one more dusty old book in the library.
penance this sublime. God damn you, Data! <laughs> Perfect, son. You reel him in. Now, use that console there to take a gene sample. It should print up a genetic key automatically. You got the key to Lamb's hideout sport. Eleanor's down there. Now just head out to the Oxyfill station and use it. It is done. The so Sample disposal button on the panel in front of you would administer a massive jolt of electricity to the tank. More than enough to kill me. Whatever I may say to dissuade you, do not listen. The man whose voice you hear now is long gone. As my mind fades, I find my thoughts turn to the suffering that Eleanor will be made to endure, and I am overcome with pity. But I can only offer my feeble prayers. Perhaps after my death, you can do more. Now, please, I ask you to grant me peace. Goodbye, my friend, and thank you. Eleanor's condition may be a blessing in disguise. Early splicing tests indicate zero genetic damage due to her condition as a little sister. It appears that she... Persephone, we're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. I wonder, Delta, do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my... ...my daughter has given you? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You still believe. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
Persephone, secret home of Sinclair Solutions. I bet against Andy Ryan's vision of harmony and rapture, offered him a quiet place to send anybody who wasn't working out, and now I'm sitting on my own private think tank. Technically, Utopia shouldn't have much use for a detention facility, but if you do business as long as I have, well, you learn to pick a brand name from the writing on the wall. That's her son, Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. she remember us after this moment I have placed my pieces on the board as expected as have you is this what she hoped for mother and father locking eyes yet still we are blind goodbye subject Delta and take heart for you at least have escaped your legacy Chambers waiting on you. Get in there! <laughs> 